Welcome everybody to look at a new Blu-ray release from Vinegar Syndrome via their Utopia uh, via the Utopia label, which they um, s distribute via their website. So uh, yeah, this is 2023's Femme. So this is directed by Sam H. Freeman and Ung Chun Ping, uh, both of which is their future film debut, although they both work together on the short film that this is based on. And this is a thriller, clocking in at 99 minutes long. Stars Nathan Stewart Jarrett, who has had a minor role in The King, who, the Kid Who Would Be King. But he was uh, in one of the leading roles in 2021's version of Candyman. Also stars George McKay, who was really rather great in 1917. And he had a minor role in the film Defiance. So Jules is a drag artist in London who withdraws into himself and loses his career after a horrific uh, attack. Months later, he recognises one of his assailants in a gay sauna and quickly realises he has a perfect opportunity to get revenge. And he's able to get this revenge because out of his drag, he's, you know, he's out of the wig, the makeup, uh, the dressing, that he, the dress that he has on and everything like that, he looks like a completely different person when he's not in that. So he's able to get away with, uh, you know, getting revenge on his attacker as a result of that. So, uh, yeah, this is overall a highly engaging, tense, an incredibly well-paced thriller that also features two excellently performances and really rather high engrossing uh, character interactions while the film itself is engrossing throughout as well the supporting cast is also decent the cinematography is on point the plot is not just engaging but also thematically weighty with its effective look at revenge the cost of revenge whether or not sometimes it's worth uh, the cost of um, getting revenge as well as sexuality and the production is also solid as well. So uh, yeah, overall an excellent film and one of my favourite films of this year based on UK release dates. Because even though this did get released in 2023, it was only uh, in festivals. I base my yearly favourites on UK theatrical or UK debuts on streaming, uh, not based on when they were released in festivals. So uh, yeah, really, really nice, simple artwork. So you've got uh, Jules there on the front and uh, his attacker on the rear and uh, yeah really nice uh, color palette on that as well with the pinks and the blacks i really like that then the original artwork now granted this film is available in the uk on a basic blu-ray but i really like vinegar syndromes or any of their subsidiaries you know like utopia for instance which is his release by um the artwork that comes with the uh, slip cases and stuff and you don't get that with the um basic blu-ray that you get over here in the uk you also don't get a really rather nice booklet either, which, again, I also really appreciate. But here's a disc with the uh, same artwork as on the sleeve as on the uh, disc. There's no reversible artwork, though. But we do get the booklet, like I said. And inside we have Clarity of Vision by Alexandra Heller Nicholas. Uh, so you, you get certain shots in the film. We've also got a behind the scenes shot as well, which I always like to see. It's nice to see how a film is made at the end of the day. But then we also have some shots from the film. And yeah, that right up by Alexander, it takes up the entire booklet outside of some uh, credits in the rear. So uh, yeah, which again also has a uh, behind the scenes shot and on the disc itself we've got the new york uh, city premiere q a with directors uh, both of the directors and stars george mckay and nathan stewart jarrett we've got a trailer stills gallery uh femme futurette audio description and the book like i said which has the essay by alexandra helen nicholas so uh yeah overall a really really good film um Looks great, like I said, but it's the performances that they sent at the heart of this that really make this film because you can feel for Jules after the attack and everything like that. But you can also feel for his attacker, given he's closeted, he's in a very, um, you know, masculine and straight world. And he's obviously really, really racking with his own sexuality at this end of the day. But that also does not excuse what he does. Um, but does it really justify the kind of revenge that Jules is trying to get either? that's up to the audience to decide and uh, yeah i really really like uh, when a film asks you questions and uh, doesn't necessarily give you the answers uh, you are provide uh, 
asked to give the answers yourself and uh, i really like that in this film and uh yeah works really really well and uh easily one of my favorite um lgbt uh, uh thrillers or, or films in general that i've seen as of recent years so uh yeah if you have seen this film before i'd like to hear your thoughts on it but nonetheless thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye